want to talk to you about the power of prioritising values. Have you ever felt like you're stuck in life, like you're just going round in circles? Maybe you've even made some goals, but you just can't seem to get anywhere. Maybe what you need is the power of prioritising values. Our values steer the direction of our lives. They're like the rudder on a big ship turning us one way or another. Sometimes in life we have conflicting values and it's like that rudder is broken and it's like we've got two different rudders going in different directions and the ship just spins round and round. The secret is to prioritise your values. Why not do this activity? Get a list of values. You could Google it. You'll get about 300 value words come up. Words like family or fun or finances, excellence, honesty, uh, all sorts of words like that. They're all good words. You'll like all of them. But I want you to try and put a circle around all the words that spring out as especially important to you. That's the first step. Then out of those words that you've circled, I want you to choose your top 10 most important values. And then the third step is to take those top 10 and prioritise them in order of most important to least important. It'll really take a bit of time and thinking, but it's really worth it. You see, when you prioritise your values like that, it's like taking the handbrake off in life. Your car will be able to launch forward at full speed like it's supposed to. Instead of going round in circles, you'll go from being stuck to being unstuck. You'll get ahead in life. I really encourage you also to think about doing this as a family. Say, get mum and dad to do their own list separately and then come together and share what they've got. Now, you may or may not be surprised that when you come together, you might find that you've got a few things in common, but quite a few things different. Because of that, I'd recommend that before you do the exercise, in advance, make a decision that you're going to respect each other's differences. Sometimes this activity can cause a few sparks, but if you've got an attitude of respect, you'll be able to work out some values for the whole family that can be agreed on. You know, I'd say once you've got your values like that, write it up on a poster for the kids to see. What this does is it gives the kids a great feeling of belonging and makes them feel proud to be a part of a family. It says, it would say something like, in our family, we value this, this and this. And it really will make the home feel like it's an important part to be a part of, a great thing to be a part of. You know, in life, I encourage you to invite God to help you prioritise and choose your values. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, Jesus' words, he says, Seek God first and all these things will be given to you as well. It's a great head start in making your list of values. It's actually a Bible promise that says if you put God first in your life, he's going to supernaturally bless the rest of your life. How's that for a head start? So in life, prioritise your values, have fun and launch towards your goals. And remember, in life, if you want something different, you're going to have to do something different. Well, thank you, Ben, very much. It's wonderful to think about how that changing our values can actually change our life. And today what we're exploring in Daniel chapter 4 is how that a change of value can actually help you make any change last absolutely forever.